Hey everyone, it's uh, Monday here in the Philippines, Terry and Rosie's Philippine journey out here. Just wanted to share this beautiful road as we continue to explore the Philippines. We're out on this uh, Santo Mom Tomamas. I came in, my mouth doesn't work right. So uh, Santo Tomamas, Thomas, uh, province or whatever, a little town, village, whatever you want to call it. So we come down this side street and there's some sugar cane, uh, some corn over there, straight ahead by that tree on the hill. And we have rice, so we have three of the main uh, crops or products of the Philippines. So I find, and this is just a beautiful uh, little opening here. Uh, coconut trees, banana trees, a lot of coconut trees right here, and quite a few banana trees off to the right. So I uh, just out here started off this morning about 8 o'clock, I think, and just uh, continuing, and this is actually, this is not a hiking trail. This is a uh, province, uh, this is considered a road. So here in the Philippines, now it's not like the main thoroughfare. This is a country uh, lane, so, but, so it's mostly uh, dirt and whatever. There's some sort of sign there. But uh, yeah, it's real pretty. If you like country and nature, there's a cornfield. Once again, that's all hand planted and harvested. This is uh, something I've not seen a lot here. This is uh, probably about seven foot tall and it's got the double ears on it. Most of the Philippines, it's uh, single ear. So that's more like American corn, uh, a little taller. So most of, the, of it I've seen is single ear and then it's four or five feet high. So that's uh, more of an American breed. Beautiful old brook uh, creek uh, here, so lots of little mountain creeks and streams and rivers. Uh, so just beautiful with the rice there, just uh, picture perfect. So, so I am uh, enjoy this type of stuff very much. It's beautiful, the coconut trees. I'll zoom in here. So you get a little better view of it, but so yeah, just uh, beautiful. Getting a little warm, a little marker there. I don't, wasn't sure what that was, so might go back and read it. Here we'll walk over here, see if it, what it says on there. Some sort of uh, marker, monument of something. There's a sign over here, but it's all faded out. See if I can. Um, not so good at reading things here, so we'll see what. I'll get up close and just let you guys look at it. That's there. Uh, I guess it's talking about the uh, different work here on the bridges and cost of the projects and stuff. So, well, interesting that they post that type of stuff out here. That's where we're at, Barangay of Santo Tonomas, Brock, Brock, Doc, Vio, Ilo, Ilo. Mouthful. So I've been here about six weeks, continuing to make adjustments, still uh, finding the place beautiful and people friendly. Uh, that's the two. Let me see if there. I don't know why the camera's bouncing around so much. So. Might be the setting there. I got it on, but anyhow, just a beautiful Monday morning. We may hike back here, so just enjoying the hike. Rosie's with me today. She's up there in the shade, being smart because the sun's a little warm, not too bad. I haven't had any. The weather's been pretty consistent. I would say maybe. 77 to 84 degrees, 85 has been about the highest it's been in six weeks, and 77-ish has been about the coolest. That was a couple days ago where it rained all day. Say hi, Rosie. Hi. Yeah, Rosie grew up back here, so I'll let her get a few shots of me. So, be sure to say a little something if you go along. Just keep on talking. Sure. If there's something of interest, tell them, you know, show them a plan. Or... I have been grow up in this uh, 
place and for her 50 years this is again my first time to visit this place rice paddies here yeah. I guess it has never been been changed for 50 years except for the power lines there it is there's the power lines way back I didn't know where to go, right? 50 straight? years ago should we go straight or up that way this this way Yeah. They used my corn idea and put it in I the I really bed. don't know this uh, area, but uh, I guess this is a shortcut for the corn field. Here. Can you face over here? Alright. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Alright. What's this tree called? Um, has a little uh, berries on it. I don't know. It's just like, hold it, please. All right. Um, Getting the front camera like a, back to me. Fig tree. I just local asked fig her what tree. this. It's a so local, she says it's uh, local like a, fig. A fig. Yeah. Tree. Yeah, so she it's knows. Not, it's not. It's not yet ripe. It's not ripe. It's just starting. Yeah. So a little. Yes. I guess a little fig. Mm -hmm. That's a fig tree, which she says it is, and she knows all kinds of plants here. She, I was, I cut myself the other day, and. She grabbed some kind of weed, I would call it a weed, a bush, and wadded up the leaves and rubbed it on my bleeding, and it instantly stopped, and uh, that was the end of that. So she's uh, quite amazing, as a lot of Philippine people are. They know uh, about living off the land and what plants are good for and uses. Here's a guava tree. Guava tree, but there's no fruit, so. Too young for fruit, and, uh, but that's why the guava leaves tree. here. If uh -huh. you have a, a wound also, you can boil it and wash with it. It's just like an antiseptic. So, so antiseptic, yeah. uh, good for healing, yeah. she says. So, yeah. so that's interesting. I'll let her continue a little education here. So I enjoy learning and you guys might too, so. There's some people working the fields and stuff, so well, I don't know if they're plant, planting corn. Hello. Morning. I like the pakat to sa tarog. Dayun masaka sa baklayan. Oh, salamat. All right, she just asked if this is the way to the road, and they said, yeah. Oh, ah, nagapang linga linga kami kun mataklad kami di kun dere. San Fernando? Oh. <laughs> All right. What are they planting there, Rosie? Corn? Ano natanong nyo, guys? Are they doing some corn or something? Ay, sugar cane. Honey. Sugar cane, okay. Amura mga patdan? Ha? Gingin. Uh, Tubo? Hindi, na gingin kilala po San Fernando. Oo. No, no, Oo. They're... Prepping the uh, so gaton ganin namun to karun sliding ilin mag to ako to karo kay nuno friday. They're prepping the uh, field there for sugar cane, so yeah. So you have uh, what I've seen here is uh, sugar cane is a big crop uh, in, in various spots, corn is just really. Come on, like gangbusters, it seems to be everywhere. All right, Rosie says, Here's a cashew tree, so we'll get over here and show you that. This is how they bear uh, flowers, and if you right. sometimes they will bear fruit. So, so this, this is, is a cashew, cashew and it just fl got done yeah. flowering, yeah. so yes. it's going to bear a uh, little fruit, and yeah. uh, it's a cashew tree here in the Philippines. So that's the leaf. That's the flower. Of course, it's all done uh, flowering, so it's getting ready to bear some fruit, and I guess. So yeah. All right. Well, uh, there's always more to see. We just keep uh, any any time I see something of 
interest here that I find interesting, I share it with you all and hope you uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy it as well. So that's what it's about. So meeting people and if there's anything you want to see more of, more uh, meet and greets or uh, there's the power line that runs uh, along our by our house and stays along the highway so we kind of know where we're at so it seems to be pretty consistent so it's a little marker to because there's endless uh again we're we're not on a trail this is a road so in america this would be a hiking considered like a hiking trail but here this is a uh province road that goes uh, you know through the valley and different people have farms and houses off of it so uh, which I just love I when I grew up there was uh, you know gravel roads and maybe a few dirt roads in America where I live in Ohio but nowadays there's hardly a gravel road left I mean if you go down at the uh, some of the big national forests or something pike forest or something there may be some uh, there's some, you know, gravel down there left, but most stuff's pretty manicured and made pretty nice. So I've missed the rustic uh, nature because uh, never walked down a road like this where I uh, enjoyed it so much and felt like I was on an adventure hiking. So I really uh, enjoyed that myself. So, all right, that's it from Terry and Rosie. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see more of or less of or something, we're uh, try to accommodate and appreciate all the new subscribers. I think we're uh, 330 or something like that. So got a ways to go. Our watch hours are way up there. We're near 4,000 watch hours because we've made a lot of videos here the last few months. Uh, so that's good, but we need more support from our subscribers, so so don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, I probably need to say it at the beginning of the video, but uh, yeah, give us some support, because uh, we appreciate it and could certainly use it. All right, that's it from Terry and Rosie. I got to cross these little mud holes, and uh, talk to everybody later. Have a great day, and we're Leave you with some banana trees here off in the distance. Thanks for watching.